and welcome to today's webinar. Today we'll be covering an introduction to the VAT rate change tool in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013. My name is Gemma Warren and I'm the project manager for Advantage Business Systems. Today we'll be looking at some of the setups that are required before you change the VAT rate. First the GL accounts, the VAT product posting groups and general product posting groups as well as the setups in which they are used, the general posting setup and VAT posting setup. We'll then look at how we can test and perform the VAT rate change. Today I am logged in with the role center profile of the bookkeeper. Let's review some of the setups that are required. We know that we require additional GL accounts in our charts of accounts. However, these GL accounts will need VAT and general product posting groups. Therefore, let's set those up. You can use your search function to assist in searching for the menu for VAT product posting groups. I've created an additional VAT product posting group for 20% VAT. I also want to create a general product posting group Gen product posting groups for retail at 20%. You can see here that retail was originally at 17% VAT and the updated product posting group retail 2 is now a 20% retail VAT. Let's look at the setup for retail 2 in our general posting setup. We can click on the setup button from our general product posting groups. This will show all general product posting groups related to Retail 2. You will need to set up all the combinations for your business and general product posting groups. You will also have to do this in your VAT posting setup. If I filter the VAT 20, you can see the setups here that have been created. Let's look at a sales order that has been posted or part posted with some lines. Here we can see three lines on an order, quantities 2, 5 and 3. We have fully shipped the first line, part shipped the second line and we have not yet shipped the third line. Note also that we have fully invoiced the first line, part invoiced the second line. If we were to navigate on this order we would see that all postings have been posted to the GL accounts related to the setup for VAT 17. Let's now take a look at our VAT rate change tool. The VAT rate change tool is found under Departments, Application Setup, Financial Management and VAT rate change. We can now complete the VAT product posting group conversion and the general product posting group conversion we are going to create a new conversion. First we are going to convert VAT 17 to VAT 20. The converted date is non-editable. Let's create a new general product posting group conversion. Also from retail, retail 2. Retail at 17% to retail 2 at 20%. Once again you'll see the converted date is not editable as these have not been converted yet. We can now review the VAT rate change setup. By default, the VAT rate change tool completed is unticked until you have run your first VAT rate change. If you would like to run subsequent VAT rate changes, you will need to ensure that this is unticked first. You can run a test of the conversion initially before actually performing the conversion to perform the actual conversion, ensure that this Perform Conversion field is ticked. There are different ways in which we can set up the conversion to take place for our master data, journals and documents. Master data is things like GL accounts, items, resources, item charges, categories, posting groups, work centres and machine centres. We can choose at this point to update GL accounts for either only the VAT product posting group, the general product posting group, none or both. I'm going to leave the settings as you see them here. For journals, 
we can update standard journals, general journals, resource, as well as job requisition and standard item journals. Again, we have the option to convert by VAT, general, none, or both. Under the Documents tab, we have the same options. However, we can now choose to ignore the status on sales documents. This means that any released but unposted items will be updated. Let's now convert the VAT rate change. I can see here if I've missed any of my VAT posting setups or general product posting setups. I can see here that the combination of Business Posting Group Blank and VAT product, product Posting Group VAT20 is missing in my setup table. In order to carry out the conversion, you will need to make sure that you correct any of these issues. Let's review our VAT posting setup once again. The system is correct. I have no posting setup for VAT blank and 20. Let us create the new setup. I will create the setup for VAT business posting group blank and VAT product posting group. 20. This would be at a 20% VAT. I can now complete my sales and purchase VAT accounts as I set up earlier. Let's try converting the VAT posting once again. The progress bar lets us know how far along we are. Where there are open sales lines that are currently linked to jobs, these will need to be posted before we can change them. Once we have fixed any errors, we are able to convert. Performing the conversion without the tick We'll run a test run. Here we can click on the VAT rate change entries and review the entries. We can see the entries that are changed for general product posting groups, items, GL accounts and purchase and sales lines, as well as any of the additional setups required for requisitions. In some cases, as we can see from the description, the conversion cannot be performed before the perform conversion tick has been set to true. In other cases we are notified that the line will need to be split into two lines. This is because we will have a quantity shipped and invoiced at VAT rate 17 and a new quantity shipped and invoiced at the retail 2 rate of VAT 20. You can click on any of these lines and choose to show the related document. Let's look at the related lines for the sales order we reviewed earlier on, sales order 1008. You will recall that the first line was fully shipped and invoiced, the second line partially shipped and invoiced, and the third line not shipped or invoiced at all. Here we can see how the system cannot perform any conversion on the first line, it will remain at VAT rate 17. The second line will need to be split so that the outstanding amounts will appear on the second line and the third line will automatically be updated from VAT rate 17 to 20%. You can review all documents within this list and see which of those have been converted or not yet converted. Let's close the view and tick perform conversion. I can now review my VAT product posting group conversions and see that the converted date has been completed. This is the same for the general product posting groups. If we review our sales order, we can now see that there are additional lines in the sales order. The sales lines have been split according to what has been shipped and invoiced and what is still to be shipped and invoiced. 
we can see any items or lines that still require shipping and invoicing have been updated to create a new VAT rate. These new lines will now be posted according to the VAT rate at 20%. This concludes the demonstration of the VAT rate change tool. Thank you for your time today and I do hope you've enjoyed this webinar. Please note that we will be launching a series of tips and tricks on YouTube very soon, so look out for them.